Well, if you didn't know there was an attic up there, there's an attic up there. And it's actually a rather large attic. It's the same footprint as my workshop and I can stand in it. The only reason we haven't been using it for anything is there was no easy way to get up there, but now I can just climb this fire pole. But if the fire pole is out of service for whatever reason, we built this staircase for redundancy. And now more than ever, I've got to put this space to use because we're fixing up bikes. I need other bikes to cannibalize. I need tons of parts and it's starting to clutter up my shop. And so today we're going to reorganize everything and build a proper stock room up here. Hard parts already done. It's not easy to find somebody who builds fire poles. And if all goes well, I can ditch my storage unit. I've been making trips back and forth every week. Okay, uh, this is hoarding. To try and keep my workshop from becoming a disaster area. First things first, we need light and electricity. Someone was thinking ahead when they ran this bundle of Romex up here from the panel. So let's knock that out and then start going through my parts and figure out what type of bins and racks and storage needs we're gonna have up here. So currently bike parts are at my workbench and what I wanna do is put all the bike parts up in the stock room, put bike supplies down here. That's gonna declutter the shop and leave a lot of room for expansion. Remember, it's not hoarding if it's organized. I also have really small parts like axles, free hub bodies, spacers, things like that are gonna stay down here where I can get to them quickly. But I think we have an idea of how many bins we have here and so I can get to building us some racks. This solution works for me. It's really space efficient, it's easy to build, doesn't require a lot of lumber, and it'll be more than strong enough. And so I gotta manufacture 14 more of those. I'm a little embarrassed about the hoarding. I just brought all these bikes back from the storage unit, but we're gonna get them organized so that it's not hoarding anymore. I just have to build a bike rack that can store hopefully all of them. And so I'm gonna suspend a piece of PVC pipe so that I can sling the seat over and squish them together and store as many as I can. know what you're gonna say Seth nail a 2 by 8 to the stairs so you can wheel bikes up it you're right that that would make it easier but it would be an attractive nuisance my daughter would slide down it probably get splinters and so I'm gonna do it this way All right, got the bikes in right before it started pouring. Believe it or not, I've got some headroom on these racks. I can move them closer together and fit even more bikes. But now I have a whole bunch of wheels and tires. Foldable tires are gonna go in one of the bins, but the wheels I'm actually gonna make a rack for and the big wire bead tires that stay open, those are gonna go on that same rack. And finally, I will have quick access to this stuff from home. Thank you. 
No, it is not fancy, but I was able to build it out of scrap wood, and it is the best tire and wheel holder that I've ever had. It's the only one I've ever had. So that's pretty much it for the bike attic. Is that what we're calling it? Should we call it the bike attic, the spoke loft? I can walk around here super easy. I can get to all my parts. I don't have to make any trips to my storage unit. In fact, I can stop paying for that. I've got my flight bags over here, working bikes, non-working bikes, project bikes. I even put up some hooks for weird stuff. And best of all, it is right above my workshop. There's only one problem. There's a fire pole where my work stand used to be. But we've got an app for that. This is the alt angle. It's a repair stand that's made to attach to fire poles. You just attach it to your fire pole like this and you have a repair stand. So this doesn't rotate forwards and backwards, but they're making an add-on for that. And it's pretty sturdy for what it is. I could even put two of them on here and have a stand on either side. And so we haven't lost anything, but we gained a fire pole. But we are still far from done. Now that all of these bins are all but empty, I can vastly improve this workspace and make it a lot more efficient. I have stuff just laying all over the bench. All my stock cable and housing is on the ground because I have no other place to put it. So we can put these empty bins back in service and make the shop more efficient so we can do more bike projects. I used to have one bin for all of my suspension and brake service because my logic when I organized it was, this is all disgusting and there's syringes and so it should all go together. But now I've got two separate bins for suspension service and for brake service. I'm gonna be doing that with a lot of things. The old plastic parts drawers. Don't ever get one of these that has the small bins. Always get the big ones. I'm constantly going into this thing for spacers and little screws and connectors. Having two big ones is gonna allow me to separate some of these drawers into subcategories, and so we're doubling up. Like I said, if it's organized, it's not hoarding. If I'm restoring an old bike and I need one of these, or one of these, or one of these, and I can find it, that's a good day. And the way things were, I had some parts in my storage unit, bikes in my storage unit, I had a really cluttered parts bin over there. Now, everything's right here. All my bike parts, all my bikes, all my supplies, they're all right here. And if I'm working on a bike here and I need anything in the attic, I can just climb this pole. And if the fire pulls out of order, I can just take those stairs over there too. This is gonna be really cool. And for those of you who are gonna mention the bike stand down there, or I can't slide down it because the bike stand's in the way, that's actually not a problem. And so it's perfect. The reason I made this a priority, getting the attic in service, getting everything organized is, I wanna double down on fixing up bikes in today's consumer world, which I am guilty of buying into, it feels really good to take an old bike that was kind of through its usable life and give it another decade, put it back on the trails. I think you guys like watching that. I think we can teach a lot of things through that. And now it's gonna be that much easier for me to do with all my parts and bikes right here. And so I hope you enjoyed this attic build, this stock room build. I hope you learned something today. And if you didn't, I hope you were at least entertained Thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time.